Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. First of all, before I begin, I want to apologize for my absence. Um, I have been under the weather. I am anemic. I've said this before. Sometimes it hits me harder um, than normal. Lately, it's been hitting me pretty hard. Um, it just shows you that I really need to be proactive about taking my vitamins and um, so on and so forth. But I was on the weather, very tired, in some pain, and just really did not feel like... I have something like... for you, Commander. The soldiers the Herald rescued from the Falamire arrived an hour ago. Oh, cool. Thank the Maker. We need good news. That's cool. Um, that's really neat that they mentioned the Falamire. I don't know if you remember that quest line, but we went to that area and rescued some soldiers. Remember, there's a lot of undead coming out of the water, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So anyway, um, actually, I kind of need to go back to the area and unlock some things because I know there wasn't, was um, a door that we can get into, but maybe I'll do that off camera. Um, I might do that just quickly on camera. I don't know. But anyways, the last time we were together, we were in Crestwood and we've been got, come back to Skyhold to get some things done. We found out in Crestwood that the reason why there was a lot of undead coming out of the water, for one, a rift had been opened up there. And for two, all those um, undead were people who once lived in Crestwood and were banished to the caves underneath because the mayor thought this was best for the other people in the town. And then he proceeded to drown them. Wow. So the mayor committed genocide. Now, I understand where he was coming from. He wanted to protect his city because ultimately this plague would have killed off the entire city. It really would have. But the people went willingly to the caves. They would have died in the caves. That's it. That's what I assume. I don't know if they would have come back as undead. It's very possible because it was during the blight. So it's very possible that they would have come back as Darkspawn and then they would have wreaked havoc on the town. So th there's a number of things that could have happened. Coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Anyways, we sent out some guards to look for the mayor. We have found him. So find Crestwood's mayor. Note to Skywood, Skyhold's gate guards. I hear the mayor of Crestwood's been found. When he comes in, stick him in the holding cells. Let him stew there until the Inquisitor brings out, brings him out for judgment. Uh, Gil or Blythe. Okay. So he will be put in the brig, so to speak. Gulag. All right. Uh, Inquisition mission report to serve any master. That was simpler than I would have hoped. The Imperial Counting House clerks were so shocked to have been discovered and so fearful of being found out, they all but swore their loyalty to the Inquisition on the spot. My agents say they are behaving themselves so far. Indeed, they sent gifts for you to prove their good faith, but we will watch them closely, nevertheless. In the meantime, any efforts we make to gather coin in Skyhold will undoubtedly benefit from their placement. So, the Imperial Counting House Clerks. I don't remember where this is from. This is from Liliana, though, but I'm not really sure what quest line this was from. It's obvious we had some people that we put to work. Could be just a quest off the table, so could be that too. Expose the double agent. I remember this. The following is the confession that I, Abernale Harish, known as Painter, when in the employ of the Inquisition, did betray our cause in exchange for promises of a title from the Venatory. I acknowledge the mercy of the Inquisition in allowing me my life in exchange for secrets of the enemy, who I have now forsworn, and I will willingly serve my sentence in prison. Abernale Harish as witnessed by Liliana. So we did get an uh, amulet of evasion for that. The last quest or mission, we got some gold. So if you remember, we were out in Crestwood and at the fortress. Um, I forget her name, but she mentioned that her friend was late coming back and we found his body and we let her know that he's not coming. He's dead. Obviously, we had someone in the midst of us who was a spy or um he had sold his soul to the venatori apparently um but he wants to trade his life for secrets he wants to spare wants us to spare his life so um, 
I don't know what's going to happen to this. Not really sure if this is going to continue on, so this ought to be interesting. Uh, we can gather resources from Crestwood. I can definitely open up the Red Templars on the Storm Coast. I've been wanting to do that because that is part of Varric's quest line. Um, there's this Reclaiming the Mage Rebellion. We definitely need some resources. Um, Frostback Basin. Okay, so. A couple things. Um, okay, so let's do this. Um, Red Templars on the Storm Coast. Reports indicate that Red Templars must have taken over an old dwarven port on the Storm Coast, granting them a foothold in Ferelden as well as easy access to the Waking Sea. The port itself provides a strong defense from outside attack. A full assault by our soldiers might eventually yield results, but not without high casualties. A smaller group may have better luck infiltrating their stronghold. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this today. And then I think what we might do is head over to the western coast i think it's called um no what's it called let me let me get that it's over here no 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 i could do one of two things i'm the western approach so we're gonna do for let's do this this today let's do this let's clean up some stuff okay let's clean up some stuff we're going to do the Storm Coast. Then we're going to go back to Fellow Meyer, get that done. And then what I think we should do is try to get some, some, try to get some dragons down. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So let's go to the Storm Coast. We're going to fast travel. Venture forth. I think we're going to take Varric uh, because this is Varric's quest. Um, I was told that I forget about coal. I do. I do forget about coal. I don't, it's not like I don't like coal. I just really do forget about him. And he's so undergeared in the reason. So I, I don't bring him, but I do need to mix up a little bit and bring him. I'm thinking I might bring Cassandra. Um, I should, I mean, these are my tried and trues, right? Um, I am the, I'm the mage here. I don't necessarily need a mage, but I will bring... Vivian. Let's bring Vivian. Well, do I want to bring Vivian? Do I want let's bring her. She's sassy. Let's bring her. Let's see what the the tete a tete between Vivian, Cassandra, and Varric sounds like. Because I don't think I've ever really listened to their party banter. And that's one of the best parts of Dragon Age is the party banter. So I really enjoy that. Alright. See you in a minute. Welcome back. All right. Um, let's see. We've got a quest here. I guess we can take it. Let's take it. Gather some stuff. Word for you. Yep. What is it? This could help us. Okay. So these little salvage quests actually help with gaining power. And in return, we can earn points to add additional perks to our party. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So... I'm thinking what I might do is try to fast travel to where we, no, it's right here. Keeping the dark spawn down. So that's another quest that we have. We have a couple quests in here. Oh shoot. Okay. So we have several things to do here. Not a problem. Um I can't exactly fast travel here, so we're gonna be doing some walking. Fine, no problem. Um, I really need to work on Vivienne real quick because she has one skill point. Let's see what she's got here. Night Protector, your depth with defensive magic barriers you create long take longer to naturally decay. Does she have barriers? Yeah, let's oh she has this here. Um hmm. I kind of like this one. Let's take it. It's a passive, so we don't have to worry about it. Cassandra, what do you got going on, dear? Oh, she has a bunch of points that I haven't. Okay, so she's a 
she's a seeker. So these are her Templar. So we're going to take Spell Purge. Um, Champions of the Just. I think here... Spell Purge deals massive area damage while dispelling barriers. Let's take that. All of your Templar abilities now affect magic using enemies as well as demons. Let's take that. Uh, definitely Rally. The Last Sacrifice, even should you fall... You give our allies the strength to fight on harder in your name. I kind of want that, too. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so let's go over to Sword and Board. Oops, here. Um, I want to pick up Payback Strike, but just so I can get to Warrior's Resolve. And do I want Shield Bash? I definitely want expertise. Turn the bolts. Um, I kind of want to get down here to turn the blade. So maybe I'll take shield bash just to get that. Let's see. Shield bash. Do I want shield bash? Yeah, let's do that. And then let's pick up Vanguard. We definitely want war cry. Um armor we want this challenge uh we want untouchable defense we want this okay and let's see let's go back here do we want blessed blades yeah let's do that um uh, let's see let's take maker's will there's no darkness, and do I, do I want this? Let's just take it. This might be a mistake. Okay, sorry about that. Let's get to it. All right, so the first place we're going to go is head over here and get the... Um, so basically what this is, is... No, I don't. Dark spawn are coming up from the ground. This isn't a blight, but the dark spawn are being a little more active and well we're, we're we don't know if it's a blight yet honestly i don't think it is but we don't know if it's a blight ah uh, this is where the spiders are this is where the spiders are yep giant spider get him is that another giant spider no that's that that ew, it's a giant spider it's a giant spider it's a giant spider Burn them. And those are goals. Okay. Get them, get them, get them, get them. I keep saying that I want to ump the Annie on the difficulty. I probably could. But I'm done it's yet. Done. It's done. Yep, I get this. Let's go back here and let's close up the hole that they're coming through, which is here. To quick and easy. All right. Let's head back. And unfortunately, like I said, we don't have a lot of fast travel spots in on the Storm Coast. It's a small area, so whatever. Uh, so we need to do this one here. So that means we have a cave to go in. This cave I hate because I constantly get stuck in here. Also here. So there's three more spots and then we need to go in here i think there's a dragon over here too um not i think where we opened up the templar area a red templar area i think there's a dragon and there's dark Simon. there's this lovely so we'll be fighting these on the way down the beach sign you could use the xp so the other day I was reading on PC Gamer um, on Facebook that um, they were, they went back and did like a, uh, what we needed. a retro, yeah. I watched someone nearly die from the blight. It's not something you forget. The only way out was for her to become a Grey Warden, which means she's stuck fighting Darkspawn the rest of her life. So Varric is actually, re um, he is talking about... Well met, 
Sadly, he was talking about an important character in the Dragon Age 2 series, or the second iteration of the Dragon Age series. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail because, spoiler alert, I might want to play that. I don't know. But um, he does that every now and then mentions people that he knows and most likely that you cross paths with in Dragon Age 2. Anyways, what was I saying before about... I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So I was uh, reading um, PC Gamers. They did a retrospect on Dragon Age Inquisition. So Dragon Age Inquisition is one of those games where it's either you love it or you hate it. Not a lot of people in between. I think that's the same thing about Dragon Age 2. Dragon Age Origins is the only one of the Dragon Age games that people just all around just really loved, right? Anybody that really played the game, just either they completely loved it. But for some reason, Dragon Age 2, I could see kind of why Dragon Age 2 people hated. Um, but Dragon Age 3 is this one, um, is one of those games where just people, it just really vehemently hated it or they completely loved it. I am in one of those, I am not the minority per se. Um, I am definitely one that loved the game. The prop, the game has some problems. It does. Um, and if any of you have been watching this for some time, you know some of the problems. You probably have seen it. There's a lot of wide open areas. Here's the thing. Most Dragon Age games are very, very linear. Okay. This isn't necessarily open world, but it's more open world than what people who are diehard Dragon Age players are used to. Dragon Age Origins, pretty linear. Dragon Age 2, extremely linear with a lot of repeated dungeon um, skins or reskin dungeons. Um, that's one complaint I had about Dragon Age Origins or Dragon Age 2. Because of the fact that Bioware was kind of rushed by EA to get the second game done and they had to get it done within a year. So they did what they could um, to get it done in the time that frame that they were given. Um, not that I'm excusing it, but I'm just saying that's why, okay? So, you know, let's just blame EA for that, right? But um, Dragon Age Acquisition, because it is so open world, there are some areas that are like, mm, ho hum. So once you finish, a lot of times once you finish the main quest line in the area that you're in, there's really not a ton of interesting things to do. There are some like interesting side quests that have some really cool lore aspects and I don't mind doing those. But then you've got some games that are like, or some quests or just some little side quests that are just like, okay, fetch, like your normal like MMO fetch quest. You find those in a lot of RPG games, but for some reason it feels a little more Mm, out of place in a Dragon Age game because a Dragon Age game is supposed to be rich in story um, and not a lot of like fluff in between you know the fluff in between matters in a, in a normal Dragon Age game this Dragon Age game maybe not so much there's some unnecessary questions and I think they did it as fillers if that makes sense I have a train of thought. I don't know where I'm going with it right now. But um, that's, yeah, that's, I think it's that's where done. I'm going. It's done? Okay. That, what are we, what are you killing? What are you, oh. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going. That the side quest in, the, in Dragon Age Inquisition, a lot of it is fluff. It's unnecessary. Um, I like the war table. I like how the story continues through the war table. This is why I hate this, this cave. And it can be a little buggy. Case in point, this cave. This cave is extremely buggy um, because your characters get caught in some weird wall. Um, and so you spend time trying to navigate the cave because they won't go down the stairs. I think it's this one. I, I can't stand coming in this one. I think it is this one, but anyways. Um, I think it is. It might not be, it might not be. It's one of these caves where you're going down the steps or you go past a wall and your characters, 
party doesn't want to move past that area. It gets on my nerves. I don't know. Okay, it's a deep stalker. Okay. But, okay. But I like the story of this game. I especially like the last DLC in this game. Um, Trespasser is amazing. Anybody that has played Trespasser, anybody that's actually given the game a thorough playthrough and play the DLCs, Trespasser is the best one. It really is. Um, I liked the DLCs, but Trespasser is my favorite. Um, now, DLCs in a game, that's a whole nother conversation to be had. Um, it really is. I do not mind added additional content to a game, especially if I, I love the game, I love the uh, world that I'm in, but do I like the idea of the seasonal game passes that you spend the extra money on content that's probably already in the game, but just locked behind whatever? A paywall? No. But that's for another conversation. I may have already talked about that in a podcast. I may have already done that. I'm just saying. These spiders can pick rocks. They can pick rocks. Speaking of spiders, I did any of you guys see the Xbox showcase? Ooh, new trial reward. Need to go and check that out. Um, so there's this new game out or coming soon. I can't remember the name of the game. Um, concur, some, it's something like that. I don't know. But, oh my goodness, the spiders. They're all hairy and realistic looking. Why? Why? Why do we have to have spiders look so freaking realistic? This is why I can't play Grounded. And it looks like Grounded is actually um, going to have a full release real soon. Again, wanted to play that game, but as soon as I um, got into it, the bugs, the bugs really don't bother me too much. It's the freaking spiders. And I couldn't get past them, so my arachnophobia would not allow me to get past the spiders. So I won't be playing Grounded, unfortunately, because it's a really cool looking game. I like the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids kind of thing. Uh, no ram? Okay. What's over here? All right. Anyways, while I'm rambling, sorry about that. I kind of went off the, the deep end with my rambling, but some things just needed to be said, okay? Uh, all right, let me see where this is. It's over here somewhere. I want to say it's like a... Is it over here? I think so. Hopefully I can get all this stuff cleared out really fast. I hate that I didn't get this done, but... Oh, shoot. Get him. Normally, honestly, the last playthrough I did of this, I had already gotten a lot of the stuff unlocked. I think it's the way I've been really playing this game. Um, it's a little bit scatterbrained, and my questing has had no rhyme or reason. Surprising that there are no ships. This time of year, there should be plenty. Okay. Um... Vivian's been awfully quiet. Have you noticed? She hasn't really said much. I don't think she likes it out here. I really don't. But she hasn't been really complaining. She just has been quiet. Oh, shoot. This is... Oh, gosh. This was bad. This was a bad idea. Yeah, that was, that was a bad idea. Okay. Almost died. Almost died. Okay. Is it... Where am I going? I could have fast travel right here. Wow. Okay. Whatever. Bor uh nope. <laughs> Heavens to Megatroid. Exit. Stage left. I'm not dealing with the bear. 
Let me see if I can fast travel really quick. Where do we need to go? We need to go this way. Oh, we do need to go back this way, though. Shoot. I'm going up this way. I'm not. I'm not. I do not. I can't. No, I can't with the bears. I cannot. All right. I think there are more spiders in this cave. We did clear them out, but they will respawn, and they have. Yes, they have. Okay. Mm -mm. I can't. One down. Many to go. Oh, they're fighting. Yeah, you think? He's fighting the spider, though. Oh, this... Oh. Get the giant spider and then work on her a lot. There's another giant spider. Okay. Get him. I'm just gonna let that spider take care of the herlock over there. Let them kill each other. I think the spider killed the herlock. It did. Where are you going, Cassandra? What the heck, girl? Wow. So you're just gonna let Vivian tank this on her own. Actually, Vivian's doing a great job tanking this. This is her lock. She really is. Okay, they're her lock. Okay. All right, that's it. I think that's the last one. That's the end of it. Yes, okay, cool. Done and done. There's spiders over here. No need to um, worry about those. We're headed out. We're done. Let's get this loot. Okay. So I think I can fast travel. Um, let me head out the cave here real quick. So let me see. So I can fast travel here. That's what we're going to do. And that should take us to the cave. Nothing to report, sir. Nothing to report, sir. Where's the cave at? It's right here. Let's go that way. And there's a bear. Oh. He's an elite bear, too. Oh, he's an elite. He's an elite. He's an elite. Get him, get him, get him, get him. He's not even taking any damage. Very little. What in the filth, Flarn filth? Oh, this is going to take all day. This is going to take all day. All day. Shield up. Oh my gosh. Seriously. He better drop something good. And he better not have any more friends. This better be the last bear I see. But you know what? This is my fault because I chose the option of harder bears. I chose this. Therefore, I shouldn't be complaining. But I wanted the challenge because you get extra goodies for the trials. So, I chose it, therefore I should not be complaining. But I'm going to complain. <laughs> I'm complaining. This bear is the, I mean, he's taking damage now, but he's, it's, he's barely taking any damage. Oh.
Okay, okay, okay. Almost, y'all. Almost. Oh my gosh. Look at Vivian holding her own down there. It's dead. She said it like, my goodness, y'all. It's dead, finally. But did it give us anything? It did. What did it give us? I have a serious question for you, Iron Lady. I can hardly wait. In the Imperial Court, if someone uses the wrong fork at dinner, is that worse than death or just social suicide? It's impossible to say, my dear. Anyone who has ever so misstepped was stabbed to death with the proper fork. Oh, wow. Okay. Varric has a nickname for everybody like I do. It just comes naturally. I really do end up having a nickname for everybody. I don't know why I do it. It's just something I do. It's just something I do. Okay, so apparently uh, she is the Lady Ironclad or the Ironclad Lady or something like that. What? I thought I could get through here. Can I not? What? How do I get in here? How do I... Did I not open this? What? I I thought I opened this. Did I didn't? Um okay. Well. <laughs> um oh, what's over here? Let's let's kill this guy. Do, do, do I need to do something special? Did they kill him? They killed him. Uh, yeah, let me, let me see. Journal. Let's see. Uh, this is the Storm Coast. Uh, do I not have anything for the Storm Coast? Okay. No, no, no. Salvage requisite. I guess I don't have anything. Okay, well, let me head back to Skyhold and let me figure out what I did wrong because I could have sworn that I... Open up that area. So I'll be right, right back.